So everyone has an iPod, you have your mic, and you have headphones, correct? In class today, we used a website called Photobabble. Um, my students were able to use their iPod touches to upload a photo into uh, Photobabble. And then they recorded audio in Spanish using some of the vocabulary we've been going over in class. You can go ahead and step out in the hall and record your audio. They were able to put that audio over the picture so they're associating a picture with the vocabulary words that they're supposed to be using. I really try to find sites that allow students to do what you would call, I guess, voiceover or insert audio into projects. La montaña está hermosa. And what I find is they feel um, much more willing to insert audio into a presentation or things like that versus me taking them out in the hall and testing them one-on-one. -on -one. Um, that's a very intimidating situation for them. Okay, everyone's finished recording audio. I need you to make sure you've emailed it to my school email address, and I need you to email to the partner that you were assigned to so that you can They were able to email that to a friend in class and um, work together with a partner to kind of encourage one another in points that they did really well and also help each other edit the things that they were making mistakes on so that they don't make those in the future. And so I feel as teachers we have a real responsibility to meet students at their point of need and I think that for 21st century learners their point of need is integrating technology as much as we can into the classroom.